welcome back to the channel if you guys seen my upload yesterday you'd know that i am in the middle of performing the evo uh evo transmission swap all-wheel drive swap and uh in my 3g uh just picked up a new sim card for my uh gopro so that's what you guys are on now uh not using my phone so that's why the video is kind of you know cropped up funny looking but yeah so today we are going to try and get the uh, the mock-up uh, bell housing um, for that we're gonna try to get that onto the car today not gonna do the big transmission yet I want to actually get and figure out what's going on and how to figure out that uh, first so yeah. so follow on Hopefully you can see, uh, but of course, yeah, like uh, yesterday I showed you guys, I had the old flywheel on, um, and then I had the adapter plate on. The reason why I had the old fly plate on is because I have to make a spacer for the new one so that it, it will pretty much be centered and everything good to go with that. So, yeah, just taking it off right now so we can countersink some other holes. over that one up there uh, we still got to drill out that one and that one to make it bigger so that I can put a bolt in there but we got pretty much every one of them on the block itself bolted in I gotta still clearance that one a little bit it was a little bit too low so um, yeah all right so yet again we put the uh, adapter plate on the uh, mock-up and I'm going to try and get it inside the um, on the motor so so here is a little rough um, look of what it's going to look like. It's pretty much kind of good up in there. Um, as far as the measure wise, it looks pretty center uh, to the clutch. Um, yeah, I mean everything's looking good so far with the mock-up one. Uh, I do have like a, a gap right here because of these prongs I mean I can I can fix it right here um, but over here I mean you really can't fix it so uh, I think I'm gonna have to get like some some uh, washers to go right there and then up here I do need to uh, clearance once I have that bolt on there I have to clearance that bolt I want to do it right now until but so I could get this so that it's good to go. So, but other than that, I mean, it's going on there. Just got to get some more bolts on there. And then, you know, probably have to cut those out. Uh, those are just in there, but trim those back. And like I said, clear this. And then, yeah. All right, guys, and that's where... All right. And that's where I'm going to end it today. It looks like it's about to start raining. Uh, looks pretty bad. So um, I got the bell housing on. Um, almost fitted all the way up. I got to get some bolts for these top ones. Some shorter bolts because these bolts seem a little bit too long. Or maybe I could just spacer them. Um, I have to uh, pretty much clearance the bottom part where the oil pan goes. I'm going to clearance it on the adapter plate so I'm going to lose one of the bolts there. Uh, which kind of sucks because I want as many bolts as I can on here. But that way it sits, sits flush and I won't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, like I said, it looks pretty, pretty dead even as far as that. Uh, I do have to cut the... Um, starter location on the transmission but I won't do that until everything's in and ready to go uh, other than that yeah so. so I'm going to try to update you guys as much as possible on the Eclipse um, yeah so uh, transmission goes in the motor mounts get in I'm gonna be taking the exhaust off and the gas tank off uh, 
so stay tuned uh, peace